Check out this tire. We are a hundred miles from nowhere. Fortunately, we got an extra tire up on top. We're gonna to be able to try and get that on to give you an idea of where we are. Here's the road marker, Blythe Vidal Road. That way. That's where we're gonna be going. We're gonna get out of here. Actually, we're making this run across the desert and um. There's some old gold mines and stuff up in here. We're going to go see if we can try and find one of those today. If you're liking what you're seeing, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. So we got them broke loose. You got a jack? Yeah, right there. See it? Okay, so we got a jack up above. My brother did have a wrench that fit. So he's got them broke loose. We're going to put the other tire on it. We'll get this thing going all right we got the spare on it still got the nubs on it we might wear those off today yeah. well, let's go see what we can find all right here we are starting to climb into the foothills here a little bit looking good we know there's some mines up here we're gonna go try and find one today here's an old gate We must be getting to an expensive mine because look at this gate system they got here. We'll try and figure out what they were mining when we're here. Over here, there's probably a little house for workers. Oh, there's some equipment over here. Check this out. This is this is really neat. There's how did they ever find this place with their mules and their horses? They would have had to pack this stuff out back in the day. Here's a whole wash area. We got about a three-foot drop. Here it comes. Oh! Yeah. is old I don't even know what that piece of machinery is there old wooden box I don't know I Maybe. think it was for loading See the yeah it looks, it looks like it's got some chutes on it so they could probably load load a truck there underneath it and wagon. <laughs> yeah wagons underneath it and haul it out check that out there's a big hole in the ground over here I think we're gonna come in here and see what, what's here. Look at that thing. I've never seen this. I've never been up in here. This is really cool. Wow. A bullet riddle box. And there's a mine. All right, this is gonna be fun. I didn't bring a flashlight with me, but we'll see if, if we can go, how far we can go and what we can see. All right, here's the entrance to the cave. I've got my light on on my cell phone. Check this out. This is all, look at the pick marks here in the side. This is all dug by hand. Some bird's been sleeping right there, apparently. Yeah. It is dark inside here. 
Check this out. Oh, there's a pipe down on the ground. Water. For bringing water in. Here's here's an old railway track right there. Yeah. And it, we're going in. It's feeling stable. It's much cooler in here. It's 90 degrees outside. And I think I'm going to have to try and turn the power up on my flashlight. Oh, look at these tracks. Oh, okay. So now we got dual tracks down here. Big piece of pipe. I don't know why I'm walking hunched over. I can actually stand up. It's a little over six feet in height. This is really, really neat back up in here. It widens out a little bit here, making a turn on the train track. They would have been for ore carts. Oh, check out the beams. They must have had a cave in here before or something. Because it looks like it's running down. It looks like maybe a little water's washed in here. They've got the sides up. Check this off to the side. Wow. So there's a side tunnel coming off here. Let's go up the side tunnel. This is really, it's very interesting. Looks like this is greenish in color right there. That might be copper or silver. Both would turn green. So, explosives, dangerous, keep out. You know what that means to Cousin Jim. Let's go. Oh, man. I know where Santa goes for the summers. Wow. Look at the quartz that's in here. Look at all the, sh it, it's just shining off the walls. This is really neat. Look at the structure. What do you think that is? Is it silver? In the quartz, I, I know gold travels with quartz. This is neat. Okay, so let's see, here's the layer. And then you can see this is injected into it. See this? Yep. And I don't think that that's a layer right there. So that is a layer. There's no doubt. Yeah. Is, is that what they were chasing? No, no. They're chasing this right here. This is the good stuff. This has the gold. Which this? No. no below this that. down here. Yeah. And shot. Yeah. And pushed it all up. Yeah, because through. There's there's yeah. volcano rock, volcanic rock all over the. That's floor of the desert out here. Right, right. Okay, let's go farther into this mine. Look, see, see, here's the vein, right? You see, you can see it going right yep. there. Yep. Okay. Put a further yeah. Too. Yeah. Okay, we got one more thing. Sorry, I really run out of battery. Check this out. It's even cooler back in here. The temperature-wise, it's it's getting nicer. I thought that was somebody sitting there. The sh saw a shadow. We still got train tracks in here. Look how they just, they shored it off to the side. Hopefully it doesn't fall in on us. Or were they working up there, Jim, maybe? Were maybe out. tracing a vein up there? And yeah. A platform to stand on? Maybe. Oh, check out. Here's a chute. So they were mining up above and they could drop. Check out this ore chute right here. It would drop right into the cart that was on this track. So somewhere up above is a different tunnel, tunnel somewhere. Yeah, it's all filled with rock. Wow. Look, they used to be able to pull these up. And stop it. Yeah, they, they hold it so it wouldn't come through and they could load what they want and then pick these up probably and fill the cart. Yep. Wow. This is this is neat. And then here's just the old board holding across the side. Helping hold something up. Oh ch here's check out it. Here's another chute. Look at this thing. Wow. This, 
I've never been in anything like this. And this one is full of rocks, so we can't climb up there and see what's up there. And I'd hate to release all that rock because it might fill the cave. Don't know what's up there. Look at all the shoring and timbers up above. Wow. Oh, and another chute. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, somebody's been in here before. Hey, like I, an old miner. I hope I don't end up like him. We still got the ore cart underneath us. Here's another chute. Wow, and this one is number five. You ever gone up the ladder, John? Yeah, I've been up there. It looks like it goes way up. It does, you can go up and you pop out through the roof, up through the top. So you're the up. The cave, literally. Okay, so I feel a little wind blowing down. You can climb up in there. Throw the bat, go on up. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, it is, it is. Wow. I don't know about you guys. This is really neat. Oh! Yeah. Don't step in that hole. I don't know. I can see about 100 feet down or so. And it just keeps going. Look at that old ladder they built to go down there. Check this out. Oh, there goes a bat. Bat just flew out of here and went down. And here's some other old miners. They've been in here a long time. That one looks like Willie Nelson with the braids. And people have left, oh, sunglasses, one dollar. Oakley's gently used. <laughs> Look at all the glasses people have left up in here. And here's the boss. This Santa wants an ornament or he will be in your nightmares. Santa needs an ornament. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, and this is the end of this little chute right here. Just past Santa here. Wow. Oh, yeah, check that out. Check out the color up there. Don't know what kind of mine this was. There's quartz, and there's a lot of this bluish color. A lot of red. But man, did they do a lot of work. If this is all dug by hand. Explosives. Here's a chute you can climb up. Wow. Just think how hard it would be to get those big old logs down in here. Another chute, people have climbed up in that one. Can make it. Check out the color of this rock. That is so cool. Something just landed on my head. Hopefully it's bat poop. This will come out of that hole. It's just, maybe, yeah, no. Nope. Oh, here, we're on the top side of one of these chutes. Where the side of that pipe be that a pipe or is that wood? No, that's, that's a piece, piece of wood. Yeah, that's another down chute. So there's that blue color. Who can tell me what they were chasing in this mine? Look at that. You gotta look down though, so you don't step in a hundred foot hole. At least it's in a good solid rock instead of dirt, you know? Look at the quartz, the quartz veins here. Check that out. And somebody spray painted red right there. And here's the end of this little tunnel. From there. 
check this out. Up in the ceiling is a peg pounded into the ceiling with a wire on it. Probably is holding lights. I just noticed them. There's another one right here. So they're not too far apart. Another peg pounded into, into the ceiling. So I wasn't watching for that, but oh, here's another one right by the, the ore chute here. I'm thinking someday I'm going to have to come back in here with a really good flashlight and climb up and down a couple of these ladders. I'm just in here with my cell phone. It's a pretty stable mine, but we have seen some 100 foot drops into chutes and stuff, so you got to be careful. Hopefully I don't lose my flashlight. Okay, so, so here I go. I'm getting towards the opening again. We're almost outside of this mine. Still got air blowing on my back, so there is airflow down inside here. And there's the entrance. It's so bright, you can't even see out past it. But the Can-Am we rode up to is gonna be showing here after we get out into the light. Oh, there it is. Starting to come into focus. We are out of this mine. Wow. Check out the ruggedness of this area. That looks like a holding spot for their ore. There's a big post there. Who knows, they might have had chutes built all the way up this and pumped it out from up above. What an interesting area. The angle of that chute, so rocks could not get held up in it. It's actually pretty cool out, out here. Actually, it's very hot. It's almost 100 degrees, it feels like. But it was very cool inside the mine. All right, we're... <laughs> we're driving out from the mine and there's some flattened out areas that look like they had foundations and stuff so there's a, a metal roof that slipped upside down we got more roof material down inside here we've got a uh, bed springs bed frame hanging up over here and this is all old stuff people that definitely is not a new bed frame. Here. Looks like they built a whole hut right there out of the stone. They're used to working underground, so living in a stone house didn't matter. There's a foundation. You can see the flat area where the rocks are stacked over there. This is this must be where the miners live. So they're Somebody started digging there. Definitely started digging a mine out. Doesn't go very far. They must not have been finding what they're looking for. Back in the day, Wyatt Earp from the OK Corral lived 20 some years right out there where these houses are, out in the middle of the desert. He mined. He, he became a miner. He might have even dug that hole right there. You never know.